So for this recipe, you will need different color candy melts to fill out the design on the top. I have black, green, and purple. You'll also need two boxes of box cake. You really could use one, um, but I'm hoping to use two because I'm doing it kind of to go for an event. And then an assorted amount of sprinkles. You will also need food coloring. So you can use regular food coloring. I happen to be using icing food coloring. Uh, it's a little bit more pricier, but the color payout is a lot better. So this one is super black, this one is orange, this one is purple, and that one is leaf green. I was hoping for a lighter green, but we'll see how it comes out. I'm gonna try to make it closer to the colors that are in the actual cake. So once you've completely mixed your cake mix, then you want to make sure that you have four bowls of equal size that you can divvy out the cake mix evenly into the four bowls. Up next, we're going to start coloring the different colors. It helps if you set the color next to the bowl so that you do not forget. Um, in terms of how much to put on there with gel, it's a little bit difficult to say how much. So you really just have to do it till you feel like it's reached the proper color. One thing about this particular Pinterest post is that it really is just an article about the cake and not necessarily a recipe or how to make the design or what they really use. So this is just my interpretation as always. And so there we have it. The camera has it coming across a little different. Uh, this is green. It actually is more of a leaf green than this lime green the camera coming across. The orange looks normal. That is black, and this is a very deep purple. I'll be sure to take a picture so that you can see what it actually looks like. It looks more blue here, but they're perfect. All right, so I'm gonna start putting the different colors into here. I don't have a particular method in which I'm going to do so. I'm just gonna do it whatever way I think looks There we have the fun cake, you can see the green and the different colors. I wish the camera would do a better job at this, but it's okay. And this would be what's considered the top of it, and I'll show you what the bottom looks like. This again is a double recipe, and so because it's a double recipe, it's a much fuller cake. I'm more than likely going to slice this. You can see I was pulling holes just to make sure it was cooked through. But I'm more than likely going to slice this before even doing any of the frosting work because I'm very tempted to find out what is on the inside. And this is what the other side looks like. So when I say this is right side up basically based off of how you would place it if you were serving it. If you were serving it, the green side would be the one, the part that you want to show. Uh, technically the cake would end here if you were making it to be the one size cake. Uh, so this is what was on the top when you put it in the oven, but of course you flip it over once you take it out to give it that nice bug design. So let's see what it looks like. And so there we have it, the inside of the cake. Don't mind the little line here, that's when I was testing it out. But these look awesome. Like when I tell you, they look awesome, they look awesome. I'll take a picture and insert it since the camera makes it just a little darker. But there we have it. I hope you enjoyed.